After you create a deployment, it stands to reason that you may need to edit it to modify its parameters or change something about the installation itself. So in order to do this, you have to navigate back over to the server directory where you stored your deployment, make your way into the tools subfolder and use the create and modify deployment shortcut link to open up your deployment kit and change the parameters of it. When you double click that link, you'll receive a screen very much like this. Now, normally you'll be modifying an existing deployment. However, you could use this screen to create an entirely new deployment, or you could use this to create a new deployment that's a derivative of one that exists by using this pop down screen here. But normally you'll be modifying an existing deployment. All the installation settings will have been maintained here from when you created the deployment in the first place. If you'd like to change those settings, you can. Next screen is a re-acknowledgement of the licensing terms. Next screen, again, serial number, product key, and licensing topology. So this could be changed if you'd like to. Next, you simply change any of the configurable parameters for the installed products. We'll look at how to do some of that more in another video segment. Once you've completed those configuration changes, you simply press the Create button, and the deployment will be repackaged and reconfigured according to your changes. Now simply press the Create button and wait for the processing to complete. After processing completes, you receive a status screen, like you see here, indicating the name of your deployment, the location of the deployment itself, and the location of the modifying link that you can use to go back should you need to modify the deployment again at some point in the future. That's it. All you have to do now is press finish and you're done.